Then we have the finished or semi-finished uh, cross slide uh, flats. The version here is just uh, with the touch and go scraping, uh, really rough scraped. So uh, that, that finish didn't last long, really. But then onto the gib, which is the topic of this video. This, of course, needs to be accurate. It fits inside the, the mating dovetail there, and um, now I blew it up and it just uh, touches on the ends, but do we scrape it or, well, yeah, we could, but it is also then, uh, I think, at least uh, advisable to, to measure up some more to find out um, more about, for instance, whether or not we could bend it because otherwise you risk you run the risk of it being uh, well too shallow and then going beyond what is um, within the you know the the length that you can adjust it, i ended up uh, having to back it up anyway but uh, just for the sake of it here i um, can use various methods to find out at least that it's hollow it's I use um, 15 hundredths of a millimeter shim here, and that easily goes underneath there. So it's proof that it's hollow. And as I said, it's better to bend it than back again, than to just start scraping it. So um, that's what we, we will do. So as I have a press, I went on to try to straighten out the gib by pressing it. So I adjust the uh, feet, the um, anchoring points for the for the force uh, to be exactly over the point where I think it should be. Then I adjust uh, the indicator to zero to find out uh, the exact uh, or try to find out the exact force needed. And it's just a matter of uh, iterating this process until you are satisfied. I have to go a little bit back and forth, I guess, but anyway, this is a quite simple operation. So I start off with, a sli with a, as little force as possible, just a little bit more than the deflection, and uh, then, you know, work my way through. Now it's just a matter of scraping and blowing up as you have on the regular piece. The trick here is uh, to know where to scrape really, how much to scrape also, and then also have to, how to to mount this slender long piece. So it improves. And of course, uh, together with the filling edges, I ended up with this also being within reason. So uh, everything down to detail and it takes time. Just use the finger tap method here to hear where it is contacting. This is a valuable also quite simple technique.